music producer among two killed in a serious car crash in St. Mary. Hi again and welcome. This is Link Sub 7 TV. Let's talk. And we'll be right back with the details of this to come on the program. We ask you, please remember, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Click that notification bell and click on all so you're always in tune whenever time we post new videos. We'll be right back after this short break. Welcome back and thanks for joining us for the program. This is Link Sabler 7 TV. Let's talk. Wherever you are watching this in the world, much love, much respect goes out to you. And thanks for joining. If it's the first time you're watching and you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. Click that notification bell and click on all so you're always in tune whenever time I post new videos over here. All right, so what I want to talk about today on Let's Talk is an accident that took place in St. Mary in which two individuals lost their life, a male and a female. But before I even divulge the details of that incident, let me just talk a little bit as it relates to a trend that I see developing over and over again, especially in the holiday period and the festive season of Christmas. So it's like these individuals out there on the road it's as if they don't value life. They don't put that value that lives need to be valued, right? They don't take that initiative in order to protect their own life, especially when they are using the road. And when we look on the space of accidents and what really lead to these accidents, some of the time these could have been avoided only if one was not speeding. And in this current instance, you can see speeding was a major contributor to this accident that I'm about to talk about right now in which it claims two people that were just on their way to a location. We can't continue like this. We can't be speeding on the road. And most of the time, these vehicles, they can't even manage these vehicles based on the speed that these vehicles are going. And some of the time, they are not the one that is speeding. They are not the one that succumb to their injuries. It's always some innocent people going about their daily day routine. And then they are caught up in this mayhem and the whole entire drama. So for this season, we have seen it started already with a number of accidents being happening right across the country and a number of lives being lost. Let this Christmas be a Christmas in which the government and the road safety unit within the Jamaican government can say that this was a wonderful Christmas and the spades of accidents are down during this period because we can't continue like this. Most of the time these individuals, they are in intoxicated and they drive as if they don't care, they don't value life. And we have seen that playing out on more than one instances where people are becoming intoxicated coming from parties going to parties and they just drive as if they don't care and they claim innocent people who are just going about their regular day-to-day -day business so in this instance this involved two motor cars and we are going to bring you up to date with this and the police report in relation to what they are stating really happen now the picture that you're looking on screen here that's the actual car one of them i say that was involved in the actual incident so the police are reporting that a man and a woman died as a result of injuries they sustained in a two vehicle collision along the borel main road in another base at mary on monday the deceased have been identified as 32 year old Kioma Williams, a music producer of Nightingale, St. Andrew Kingston 3, and 39-year-old Alisa Woods of Charlotte Drive, Kingston 8. The police reports are that around 3 p.m., Williams and Woods were traveling in a Honda Civic motor car towards Buff Bay in Portland when the vehicle was hit by a Toyota Mark X traveling in the opposite direction. So that you can see that was a head-on collision because both of them were going in separate direction and they made a head-on collision. That means someone was not on their side of the road, which is very sad. Now you see these people, they're going about their regular business 
and look what happened someone the driver of that market motor vehicle came on their side and it made a head-on collision and they did not survive so further reports are that the driver of the market had swerved to avoid a pothole and in the process lost control of the vehicle and crashed into the honda civic and there has been a video circulating online and i can tell you that the damage to those motor cars it's not normal they are beyond repair they are totally written off right off mash up i'm telling you it's a sight that no one really wants to see so the injured, the injured persons were taken to the hospital where Williams succumbed to his injuries and also would succumb to her injuries as well on Tuesday. The condition of the other persons inside the markets, police did not disclose their circumstances just yet or how they are doing in this current report. But we'll try our very best to give you an update as it relates to how they are doing as well. But as you can see there, it, this was not a matter of my be speeding per se however the car must have been going fast and they swerved from the pothole and then headed into the oncoming vehicle of the honda civic and now those two individuals they succumbed to their injuries based on the impact of that collision which is very sad so when you're out there on the road if you see a pothole you have to use your judgment very well you cannot just be swerving from a pothole knowing that there is an oncoming vehicle towards you and most of the time your judgment have to be very precise this is the way that you are and this is the way you have to judge perfect you cannot judge especially when you're trying on or you're traversing the road on speed or you're speeding and you're trying to turn from a pothole you can't do this you have to be extremely careful now you see just the servant from a pothole cost two life it best if he had just fallen into the pothole and maybe the vehicle get damaged or something of the sort but the serving has caused this serious accident to occur i know this music producer and alisa woods lost their life in the accident which is very sad but all i can say is appeal to those individuals out there using the nation roads you have to be extremely careful, especially during this time. And just try your very best to drive safely and drive cautiously as well. And follow the road codes. No speeding in certain areas. And if you're going to speed, try your best to speed in an area where it's possible for you to speed. And don't speed in an area where the road is small. Or you're traversing an area that you don't know and you're speeding on that that is some of the time the major contributor to the accident as well you're speeding on a road that's the first time you're traveling and you don't know the road and then you lose control of the vehicle and then you know what happened after so we're gonna leave this one here for now though thanks for watching this has been links double seven tv let's talk peace out and bless and before i go i just want to take this opportunity as well from links double seven tv just to express my heartfelt condolences to the family and friends of these two individuals that lost their life in this accident in St. Mary. All right, this is where I'm going to leave this one. Drop it in the comment section though. Let me know how you feel about this story. Bless and peace out. Links TV.